Aquarius, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Aquarius Tarot reading. Aquarius love tarot reading. Aquarius love reading. And as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aquarius love messages reading channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Aquarius, the energy coming through, speaking of messages, it does look like your person, your specific person, the person you're here for, maybe it's somebody you're not expecting wants to reach out to you, Jupiter and Leo energy. You know, they have something to say to you and it's a victorious energy. Look, they're really wanting to make sure you hear this. And what is this about? Well, Five of Wands, which we are seeing represented in the birds and the crows below. And that's some challenges and some obstacles that have been around this connection. Quite literally, look, the Ace of Pentacles. So this commitment, relationship, partnership, Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy coming in here. Yeah, with some kind of offer, taking things further putting more time into the connection, putting time into it in the first place. Where are you at with this? Because they're really clearly coming in here to communicate. Aquarius, I'm channeling for you in January 2024, and you could be here in real time. If you are, Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs> Can you believe it? We made it. It's 2024. You could also be here many months or, or even years later, and that's because... This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here, Aquarius. It means there is a message for you. This is a faded connection. So welcome again. Look at the energy coming through. We have the Four of Wands, Venus and Aries energy. This is a, a reunion energy, a celebratory energy. For some of you, it's coming together in person, maybe even at an event around friends and family. It's a soulmate energy. It's sometimes incoming soulmate, I should say sent from spirit. Sometimes it can be around marriage as well, whether it's somebody else's or yours or an impending marriage. Let's see, it's really super early, but I really like this. And it's coming with the moon energy, of course, major arcana energy, Pisces, also Cancer and Gemini. So this is communicating. Your person's wanting to communicate and open up in a really new way and sh a lot of emotional energy of course that is the moon that's the subconscious so a lot of the stuff that's been hidden which has been a lot of the problems that i feel that have been going on here a strong intuitive energy around this communication for both of you somebody has been afraid of their emotions i think that might be your person but we can see here already coming into your reading that that's something they're either trying to overcome or they are overcoming all the decks that I am reading from today are linked below. You'll also find all the playlists. Of course, Aquarius, you will find your readings below, your zodiac readings, the Four of Pentacles in reverse coming in already. Sun and Capricorn energy. So they're worried. Worried they've lost you or are losing you. This is also coming off. Interesting. It's the Three of Pentacles here in the upright. More Capricorn energy, Mars and Capricorn energy. They're showing up here. This is a collaborative energy. You know, it's teamwork. You don't get to the fruits of, of the labor, to the cherries, unless you're building this together. It's your connection. It's the commitment. Look, it's pentacles. And it's around timing. Has somebody been ready? Somebody's not. Somebody's available. Somebody's not because they're showing up here. You've built this together and showing up and getting everybody. Reciprocal energy energy here you know again it's a collaboration it's coming together and we saw that also in the ace of pentacles coming in of what they're bringing in with that six of wands what they want to come in here with okay yeah so i want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck look the moon is back pisces energy also cancer and gemini coming in yeah they really want to communicate it's really clear also is there something they've seen or heard? For some of you, there is a connection to friends and family. They're also talking to other people, I feel, but there's something they've seen or heard that's made them worried. You know, coming here feeling like they, they 
made a wrong decision, and also they better be fast showing up here. It's around the timing look, divine timing, communication, growth, movement. Again, all your zodiac, your readings are connected to today's reading, but also down below and on the channel and all 12 zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs, love tarot readings, and those are love readings for the collective. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are really long in depth twin flame readings, so feel free to explore. And yeah, other things down there, messages from your spirit guides, pick a cards. I'm not really doing those so much anymore, but all readings are timeless and they're down below. So feel free to check them out. Look at the energy. The Four of Wands is back. This is a homecoming energy. So whether you're coming together here to a particular place, residence and an event, you know, city, state, country, you're still coming together. Look, talking here, kind of, yeah, <laughs> talking. A lot of healing energy here. Look right in front of the source. Growth, warmth, new beginning, happiness, happy outcome, new beginning. You've been manifesting this, both of you have. And I like temperance being here because this is Archangel Michael who's lighting the way to the truth, who's, who wants to help work this out with the truth, who's coming here to work it out. Restoring balance energy, harmony energy. So your, your person really wants to work this out and they want to be honest with you. I really like this. It's a fast energy. It's around the energy of love and it's going to change everything here. This is Sagittarius energy. They're coming here to work it out. So it can be for some of you, there is a really honest conversation that's going to take place around other people at an event. But there is an honest conversation here. It's just a matter of, yeah, where, <laughs> where is that conversation taking place? Remember, this is a general tarot reading, Aquarius. Take what resonates. Let the rest go. If you ever feel things are vice versa, then that's how it is for you. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the channel, to the Tarot Closet, if you haven't. Thank you very much for that. Let's see what else is going on. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Aquarius needs to see today. Aho. A hangman energy, this is sliding off the Queen of Cups, yeah. So there has been an indecisive energy, the separation, kind of in the naughty corner here. Look, they're coming in here with a really healing energy too. I like this. So this is an emotionally available and open and vulnerable energy, Queen of Cups. Also Neptune energy. Look at that starfish here. That's not just infinite possibilities. That's making something work that was not working. Look, it's finding your way back to each other with this stack of rocks, which is the same here. Look at that, around the timing. Again, it's time, I feel, but also has timing played a part in this connection? In any case, you know, you, you stack them. There, there, people do stack them for many reasons, and this is like if you go on a hike and you put them up and you want to find your way back. This is finding your way back to each other and healing, so it's a really healing energy around this love, also friendship, emotional, coming in here in a really different way. Look at all the floral laurel wreath energy. That's reunion energy. And yeah, there has been some ego. There's, I feel like there's been some power struggles here, perhaps. But only time will tell energy, indecisive energy. They were not acting. And now suddenly it's like, I got to get out of this energy, Pisces energy, the hangman energy. I got to get moving. Of course, that's a 12 and that's coming to a three. And that's around the timing here. Yeah, and get out of the hermit energy, look and communicate. This is really incredibly clear. We have the three of pentacles and the three of cups. And of course, that's also a 33 and that's anything is possible. That's your guides doing their work, putting you back together. Look at this, coming back together. This is a more reunion energy and it's a validation for some of you that it's around friends and family or in person. It won't be for everybody. But it's a homecoming energy, so place, dwelling, city, state, country. And again, it could also be that it's just, like I want to say not just, but a phone call, a voicemail, and in particular, a message, you know, social media, email, text message, whatever, because that's Mercury energy here. It's Mercury and Cancer energy. It's, look at this energy. It's a really beautiful communication, I feel. It's like they're really showing up here and saying, I really want this, really wanting to... I feel like win you back, you know, in this conversation, what they have to say, a really emotionally beautiful conversation. And again, that Mercury energy, 
You know, it's oftentimes connected to reading and writing. It's on their mind for sure. They're planning something out here. It's King of Swords energy. Thinking about what they've wanted to say for a really long time. Divine timing, communication, growth, the cups around the love. That 33 here. Look, and getting out also of this hermit card energy. So this, they've hopped out of this hermit energy and the hangman energy. Mercury and Virgo energy, because it's where you go, you know, when you, alone time as well. Spending some time alone, probably too much time alone, because this is also the separation. You know, a cooling off period, I'm seeing the star energy, Aquarius, which is your energy, Aquarius and Uranus energy, of just you guys maybe even agreed to separate and not talk. And even if you didn't agree to it, that's what's been going on. It's like a cooling off period. So I'm wondering, yeah, if somebody wasn't ready, somebody was, somebody is available, somebody wasn't, maybe even some tempers a little bit here. That won't be for everyone, but it's coming through. It's a validation if that's the case. And that's also the star energy here. Yeah, I mean, it's coming here in the hermit energy. There is that star because that's the, the renewal and the hope and the inner clarity, which is what you're doing here. So it's sort of like, what do you want? You know, you go into this hermit energy for... Clarity, a quest for personal truth, spiritual illumination, like really long-term stuff here. And the hangman as well, trying to work it out, maybe a little bit too long. What do you want? You can see it. They're hopping right out of here in this minor arcana energy, but of movement here in the Four of Pentacles. They haven't let you go. What is that other pentacle? What is there's some kind of other contract here? Whether it's around a partnership, I want to say a relationship to a person, a place, a thing, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, that's interesting, the Seven of Pentacles. So you got one foot out the door, that's why. What did they see, hear, read? Because they're moving kind of fast here now. And did they make a decision around something else, another pentacle contract it could be romantic but it could also be around you know contracts like a place where they're living not wanting to change that also just commitment issues other involvement influence from other people cultural religious differences not being at the same place literally but even again relationship wise they've read or seen something here because they're really showing up queen of wands they're quite confident about it they're getting out of that Hangman energy, the hermit energy, you might still be in there. But this is really clear in this partnership placement of coming together and communicating. But the Seven of Pentacles, one foot out the door, Venus and Taurus energy. Look, sitting here on the Six of Pentacles, waiting for this reciprocal energy. The Moon and Taurus energy there. Which, of course, is around the communication and the opening up. And we saw that in the Moon energy, didn't we? Yeah, a couple of times, actually. On a nest. Did you already build a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Something happened, obviously, and you're here on this nest waiting for some of you that is around an actual dwelling. We saw that in the Four of Wands. It's not for everybody, whether you were living together or not. I don't think that's for everyone. But nonetheless, waiting here, and then there's that Seventh Pentacle, assessing the situation, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. So some timing going on. Page of Pentacles coming here in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse, there's the star energy that I was feeling. Yeah, it's your card. And it's really strong here, yeah. Cooling off period, hope for the renewal, hope for you coming together, yes. Validation of the separation while you're both trying to decide what to do, yes. Or one or the other, the Two of Cups in reverse. The breakup energy, the separation energy, for some of you, there may have been some arguing around here. There's healing energies needed. Look, the lotus is even in reverse there. And we're seeing them coming in here with the healing energy communicating. Some of which is a little bit of selfish energy because they're afraid maybe that you're moving on. Maybe you've put something out there with someone else or something else. Or maybe you just got really quiet or they heard something. But that... Hi guys, sorry about that. This camera is going to make me crazy. What I wanted to say is that energy that you are... Perhaps on your way out, look, the judgment is here, is really, really clear. Clarity speaking of which, again, this is a 17. It's coming to an 8. You know, that's an action number. It's around some karma. 
paying some karmic debts for sure, working something out. Look at that judgment here. It's also around infinity, the balance. Again, for some of you, it might be around twin flame communication. It's They're not twin flame readings, the zodiac readings, but if you're picking up on that energy, it's definitely here. I know it's not for everybody. Speaking of which, if you are, there are really long twin flame readings below. In any case, that's a particular kind of love, infinity. You know, it's a forever kind of love. It's a particular connection, a soul connection as well. And that's the balance. And it's balancing both. It's connecting to Libra. So it's the divine feminine, divine masculine energies balancing the yin yang energies so they can be truthful and clear with themselves and bring that to you. But that's also the balance, the reciprocal energy. So something they were maybe giving more time to work, money, something else, or a compromise they weren't willing to make around that, moving perhaps for some of you, other connections, things that maybe that are even in their head, some interference, because that's also the balancing of that energy and being able to come here for the renewal. They're really wanting to talk. The Queen of Wands, you know, the really strong, confident energy. So there's a strong... You're both really strong people, I feel. <laughs> and there there are there I feel like there have been some power struggles or some intense energy here. I mean, you can see it literally with with the lions. You know, this messenger here, spirit messages from spirit sitting here on the wand, looking over at three of sun three sunflowers, which is around timing. And of course, that's connecting to the sun because they grow toward the sun. So the sun is here, that outcome. A confident energy here, Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups coming in here with the healing. And there's one over here. So it is, I do kind of feel like it's somebody was ready, somebody's not, somebody was available, somebody's not, somebody, somebody, <laughs> your person. Also, for a lot of you, it's connecting to some kind of compromise they weren't willing to make. This Page of Wands has a lot to say. You know, it's trying, to, it's like page energy. So it can sometimes be like, um, they're just getting this idea and that there's maybe even, I don't want to say nonsense talking, but, you know, they're trying to figure it out, but they obviously have a lot to say. I mean, <laughs> the Queen of Wands, Crow is looking over at it and saying, okay, you're, you're going to have your chance because they're, these three are yours, okay? Because there is a, a it's clear that they want to come through here. Look, the Nine of Wands also coming in reverse. This is ending the separation. Yeah, look. So they may have been trying to write a message or sent something through. That's the Eight of Wands below here. And look, that reunion energy, that Four of Wands. Weren't we seeing that? In any case, look, there's a reunion wreath connecting with Four of the Wands here, which is putting that in reverse. So somebody, there may have been some arguing here. And even for some of you, if it wasn't leaving dwellings or homes, it was leaving the connection. They're trying to write a message here. And it could be that something came through already as they hold on to that ninth wand, but there's like a little bit of lack of confidence, yet you see it coming through with the Queen of Wands. It's like, come on, get this message through. The Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Lots of nostalgic energy here. And yeah, more reunion energy, but look what else is here. And we're going to look at these. It's the Five of Cups also within the Six of Cups. So yeah, they're thinking a lot about when things were working. When things were easier, soul connection strong. Soulmate energy, again, for some of you, twin flame energy. It can't even be for some of you, and there is a strong connection to family and friends for a lot of you that you have known your person since childhood or just many years. But it could also just feel like that, you know, because that's what happens when you just, sometimes you meet people and you just think, deja vu, I know you, you know, that soul connection energy. But they're looking at five cups here. They're kind of muted in color. And that's bringing in the Five of Cups, the Mars and Scorpio energy. So they regret how they left things. They're missing you. And for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you here. And judgment, you know, is here holding them accountable. This is Archangel Gabriel, the Herald of Visions, the Angel for Messages. Get some clarity. Make a decision. What do you want? What do you want? Get clear. We see that they are. You know, maybe it's a little bit hap, hap, the way they're kind of like haphazardly coming, I feel like. I almost feel like they're jumping on the Knight of Pentacles, you know, and just like unfastened harness, just trying, not even 100% sure what they want to say. Yeah. And the Knight of Cups here, connecting with that hangman energy below the star. What are they bringing in here? 
it's some type of proposal. It can be marriage. Doesn't mean that it is. This can also be around, well, it's reunion energy, I'll tell you that. And it's and it's a really emotionally available, open, vulnerable energy coming here with the Queen of Cups. This is for sure a conversation. The Prince, Prince, charming energy, the romantic proposal. So is it they're planning something because I feel this strategic energy of maybe meeting each other or exactly what they're trying to say here, but there it's loud and clear. They're asking for forgiveness. Whether this is closure or reconciliation, there is resolution here. There's a coming back together here. It's around the timing. You know, Archangel Gabriel, get some clarity. What do you want? I want to apologize to Aquarius. That's what we're hearing here. I want to be honest. I want to be truthful. I needed to get honest with myself first and honest, truthful with myself. Look at the Page of Pentacles here in reverse, connecting with the Three of Pentacles. The reversal energy, it's kind of like, yeah, it's been making some trouble taking so long here communicating. Also a message I feel that they're really trying to write here. The Ten of Wands in the upright. And there is that King of Swords energy. Yeah, that's incredibly clear. And also, here is the lack of the compromise around this contract. It's been really overwhelming for this connection. It's been burdening things. It's That's like overwhelming energy. It's like stress and it's exhausting, like carrying all these wands. It's matters of the heart, the energy of love, you know? Hello, I think if you're in New York, I think that might be New York. But in any case, it's the end of the no contact, no communication. That's incredibly clear. A new cycle here, a renewal for sure. I mean, you can also see it. So yeah, you see here in the Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn and Saturn energy that they're struggling. I mean, they're struggling with this here. But we also know that ultimately they're listening to themselves. You know, they're get they're out of this hermit energy. They have heard judgments call, Archangel Gabriel. They have clarity. They're coming in to communicate. So that's really clear. So there's a compromise that might still need to be made between you or they've come in here and made it. This can also, this other pentacle that I've been feeling, which is validated here, can also just be around commitment, you know, having trouble committing. But it can also be that contract that there's a couple of things going on, that there's just too many things and they, they need to close something out, whether it's an apartment, a house, a living situation, another romantic connection, getting people out that are interfering, working too much, giving more time to something else, not being willing to make a really big move or decision toward you. It's like they're making it, they've made it, or you're still going to made it, but make it, excuse me, but they are communicating. And that's putting down these wands here. You know, it, obviously, it's, I mean, you can see it. That eight, that's an action number. It's around some karma too. It's also infinity again, you know? The truth, also balance. It's also the renewal. I mean, it's kind of everything here. The King of Swords knows that they need to make the decision here to communicate, and they also need to make this decision. So they're either coming here with that already having been made, or it's something you're going to do together. But the clarity they have, how they feel about you is really clear. The apologetic energy is really clear. Coming in here, communicating in a really confident, but I feel open, vulnerable way, which I really like. Gemini energy here. This King of Swords, also Mercury, of course, and that's coming in. Excuse me, but I just want to kind of making a mess here. <laughs> there you go. That's better. They've been thinking for a long time what they want to say, and that came through really incredibly clear. And you're reading from the get-go, Aquarius. Mercury energy as well. You know, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication here. Again, for some of you, this is in person. That three of pentacles, the three of cups here. For a lot of you, it's not in person, but it's via message. They're looking right at this sword. That's clarity in relationships. It's really thinking about it like they're really planning what they want to say to you. And again, for some of you, they're planning it out in person. I don't know that's going to be for everybody. Communication, clarity. Yeah, I want to bring in some channel love messages, Aquarius. If you feel you're sending a message or messages, then you are. Sometimes you may not feel they're for you. 
Again, it could also be that you're sending it or it's just not yours. We have a deep soul connection. It's the Six of Cups. It's also the Two of Cups. You're separated. It's clear, but there's soulmate energy here. And again, for some of you, Twin Flame energy. I know that's not for everybody. I saw someone that looked like you. It felt like you were here. That's also some of the triggering in the Four of Pentacles, too. I cannot stand not talking to you. Yeah. Look at that. Knight of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Cups. Are you okay? Who is sending this? Judgment right here with the Ten of Wands as well. When you feel my energy, it's because I'm thinking of you. I did not expect to fall so in love with you. Who is sending that? Is that you? Is that them? I'm scared to leave the life I'm in. Okay, so here's the thing. This can be around another commitment, and you're going to obviously know that, or maybe it's revealing in terms of romance, I want to say. But it's not always going to be that because that's just the contract that we know is here. You know, so is it a country? Again, a job. Some kind of really big change that re that is required, I feel like, with two strong people and having a hard time coming to a compromise, perhaps. It might not even be for everybody here, but it's definitely for a lot of you. I wish I could see you in person. There is a lot of hopeful energy here, but that's also, that's actually coming through here with the Six of Cups. That's a really clear, clear energy. Can you feel my love? You were so good to me. I fear you have moved on. Really strong energy. Incredibly strong energy. Yeah. That's the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And didn't we see that Seven of Pentacles? Or am I imagining that? In any case, they are worried about that. That's been coming through. I received your telepathic messages. What are you sending to them, Aquarius? <laughs> Communicative, for sure. I want to kiss you. I'm trying to lighten this energy a little bit. That's the Six of Cups energy. Give me time. I am sending you telepathic messages, so you're sending each other. Look at this. I'm sending you telepathic messages. I received your telepathic messages. So what are you, these feelings, you know, gut feelings, gut instincts. These are your guardian angels, your intuition, just those feelings, music, repeating numbers, animals, whatever, running into people also, which I saw someone that looked like you, I felt like you were here. You know, that just kind of brings them straight. They, there's something about them, whether it's the looks or how they're acting or what they're saying that remind you of each other. I'm feeling like I need to bring in some channeled song messages. It can be songs are, whoa, coming through that are yours, that you recognize, that are, it's like, that's our song. Could also be songs that you don't know or like and that aren't, you know, that you feel like, maybe they're not mine. There's always a sentiment behind a song. There are going to be things that you're picking up on in the, the song that I'm not even going to be privy to, and that's always the case with an entire reading. If you feel you're sending it, you're sending it. There's always a sentiment like, and I love you, or and I miss you energy to a song. And there's always things like names and locations, stuff that, again, that I might not pick up on. Love messages. Channeled love messages through channeled song. I fall to pieces. Each time someone speaks your name, speaks your name. I fall to pieces. Time only adds to the flame. I fall to pieces. Patsy Klein. Please forgive me. I know not what I do. Please forgive me. I can't stop loving you. Brian Adams, please forgive me. Hello. Gosh, that's frustrating when that happens. I wasn't looking up just to make sure that everything came through. I thought that I was over you, but it's true, so true. I love you even more than I did before, but darling, what can I do? Crying Roy Orbison. Then we saw, did we get, 
And I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I've started fighting for. It's time to bring this ship into the oar and throw to the shore and throw away the oars forever. Can't fight this feeling, Ario Speedwagon. Just making sure. Sorry if you already heard them, but when the camera does that, it drives me crazy. I'm pretty sure you got the please forgive me, I know not what I do. Please forgive me, I can't stop loving you, Brian Adams. Please forgive me. This was the first energy, so I'm sure that came through. This was the one when I looked up. Someday when we meet up yonder, we'll stroll hand in hand. Blue eyes crying in the rain, Willie Nelson. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. And maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I could have. Willie Nelson always on my mind. Some more Willie Nelson. Wah, my love, my darling, I've hungered, hungered for your touch, a long, lonely time. And time goes by so slowly, and time can do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love, I need your love, the Righteous Brothers, Unchained, Melody. And maybe I'm crazy. Oh, it's crazy and it's true. I know that you can save me. No one else can save me now but you. Meatloaf, I'd do anything for love, but I wouldn't do that. What is this? Interesting. It's an interesting song to come in today. I don't think I've seen this in, uh, it's been a long time. Because there is something here, some kind of compromise. Maybe they were, yeah. Changing of heart for sure. They, maybe they weren't willing to do or ready for. Could also be you, of course. More channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. And we're going to close your reading, Aquarius. I've never felt like this. I was stupid. I reread our messages. Please forgive me. We were meant to meet. Putting this here with the Six of Cups. Everything reminds me of you. They're definitely listening to music. I spy on you. <laughs> yeah, while well, they're watching too, if you haven't blocked each other. First, a lot of you, there's a connection here to other people, so it can be that they're asking questions, maybe even some Googling. If you have, in fact, blocked each other, I made so many mistakes. We have a deep soul connection. Yeah, it's more Six of Cups energy, and that's come down again. I'm trying to send you a message. King of Swords. I made so many mistakes. Look, he came down here twice, right over with the Roy Orbison crying energy. I think of you all the time. I stare into your eyes and photos, Page of Swords energy here again. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. Again, I'm sorry. Lots of apologetic energy in this Knight of Cups cup here coming with the King of Swords. So this message, fairly sincere apology is here, Aquarius. This is a lot more than an apology, but a sincere apology is here. Aquarius, that is your reading today. I thank you so very much for joining me. It was my honor, as always, to channel for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked today's video. And subscribe to the channel, to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light, and I'm hoping for the best outcome for you. The highest good of everybody involved. I'm looking forward to reading and channeling for you again. Looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, take care.